All right, all right. Welcome back to Detail It, guys. Today's video, I hope to be able to condense down a little bit. I have five products, kind of like trim restoration products out there. I have the Last Coat Sarah Trim, Solution Finish, Turtle Wax Retail, Trim Restorer, McGuire's Ultimate Black Trim Restorer, Retail, and then I have the dye or the paint from um, Adams Polishes. So I already have it kind of pre-masked. I'm not going to keep you on for the whole application. I'm just going to apply a little like two inch strip on each section to show you and explain to you where I'm applying these products. And then we'll come back maybe next week and just tell you how they took and what they look like because long videos are just terrible. They might be informative, but they're just long. And long isn't always good. Certain things in life can be long and it's wonderful. Certain things shouldn't be too long. This is one of those things. Anyway, let's check it out. Well, bear with me a second here. I realized something I gotta do. Hang on, hang on, hang on, bear with me. I gotta uh, mask off a logo real quick. <laughs> I would hate to put the company truck on video without authorization. So I'm gonna uh, mask off the logo real quick. I figured this is one of the things I could do for my company, right? They give me a truck to drive, the least I could do is keep it up, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. So, covered the logo. You can see it through the tape if you squint your eyes. Anyway, so, passenger side, top of the tailgate rail is gonna be the last coat, Sarah trim. Just about down the middle, there's a pinstripe uh, tape. From that side over to the passenger will be solution finish. Right rear, top of the bumper, is going to be the Turtle Wax Trim Restorer. Moving over, it's going to be Adam's Black Trim Restorer on this bottom step, and maybe the handle, okay, maybe. And then on the left side of the bumper will be McGuire's Ultimate Black. That's a retail product. So is that. No opinions today. I am not going to opinionate what my favorite is. Everybody has their favorite. Um, I do two out of these. There's two up here. Actually, there's three up here that I really like, so it's hard to pick. But there's one that's super sensational. Anyway, let's just get with this. I'm using a dedicated uh, fingertip applicator by Auto Fiber. This is Adam's Black Trim Restore. This is more like a dye or paint, guys, but it does work good. I have used it on cars before. So there's the Adams. Smells kind of pinkish, which fits, right? It is a paint, but it does work. You'll get your uh, money's worth if you use it. This one's kind of clear. Retail. I don't know what it smells like. Hmm. It has a mild smell. It's not. It's not offensive. It's not bad. Okay, that one's a little bit like a gel, kind of a little bit grabby, but it does work. You can see it there. I'll bring you in in a minute. This one's kind of old, so is the turtle wax, so if they don't perform like they should, it's probably age. But for retail, I mean, even if they last six months, you're probably doing okay. And they're easy to get, right? The retail ones are easy. And this kind of smells like their gold class soap. Kind of weird. And I have used this one before. Moving on up. <laughs> the Jeffersons. Moving on up. Now, the last coat, Sarah Trim. This one, a shout out to the last coat. Thank you very much. They sent this to me to shoot a video on, which I did on my pickup a couple months back. 
It is a really good product, easy to apply. The one thing that I don't particularly care for on this product, a little thick, a little viscous. That's the only thing. I think it's a great product. It's a little harder to work down into the crevices or the crevasses, depending on which side of the pond you're on. Okay. It's easy on though. Right up to that line. Okay. Really slippery to the touch. You wouldn't want to put this on a step. In fact, don't put any of these on your steps. I, I don't think it'd be advisable. Now moving on to solution finish. This one has a very good following in the detailing industry. Hmm, I don't really know what to call that smell. It has a scent, kind of like a, kind of like a dye or a shoe polish kind. Hmm. Okay. I'm doing it in direct sunlight. It's not that hot out here, but I'm sure that affects it a little bit. And you may have to go back and do two passes and then mop it up in 15 minutes or something, go back over with a dry uh, towel. You might. I'm not saying you have to, but you might. Some people apply this and leave it. Okay, guys, gals, boys and girls, just to give you a quick shot of it, this is uh, the last coat Sarah trim. Here, I'm gonna go all the way that way, but off video, just takes too long. This side, from this line over, solution finish. Move the pad and show you what it did to change it. See the uh, line there where it is. You can definitely see in here where I missed some spots, didn't massage it in right, but that's on me. That's application error by the applicator, me. You have, it's hard to see this one, turtle wax but I can see the lines of course I do it where the sun's on it when I start cleaning and now it's in the shade but you can see a line here super slick though holy cow this uh, turtle wax one is gonna be dangerous on a step that is horribly slick down here you have the atoms this is more like a dye or a paint you can see where it is unprotected now you can see where the atoms is I, I like the atoms one this one I think you would have to apply more, just like all these bottom bumper ones. The Turtle Wax, Adams, and the Meguiar's, I think you'd have to apply more often. The Sara Trim by the Last Coat and Solution Finish are more permanent or semi-permanent solutions. This one is Meguiar's. Again, very slick, so you know there's something on there, and it did change the tone. I don't know if you guys can see that. Every time I try to do a video, it's either too shady, too shadowy, too bright. Anyway. So give me some thoughts, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'll follow back up. I've got about half hour worth of uh, restoration work ahead of me. Passenger side over, solution finish. Pinstripe line over will be the last coat. Meguiar's, Adams, Turtle Wax. Tell me what you guys think is your favorite. Which one you would want to use. Which one you want more information about. Which one you think is going to be the most durable. I kind of have my favorite in that group, um, and I have used all of them, obviously. I wouldn't have had the retail ones, um, and the more prosumer or pro line, which would be the last coat, solution finish, or atoms, I've used all of those. They all work. I'll update you guys next week, and maybe six weeks, maybe uh, two months, three months, six months, to see which one's holding up best, uh, give you guys feedback. So tell me what you guys want to see in the future. Next week, I think I have the Battle of the Cleaners coming. And eventually, I'm going to have that polish off with 600 grit sanding marks in it. And you're going to bring uh, two pads and one polish. No compounds allowed. One polish. Um, anyway, that's another day, another uh, spiel I'll have to give when we get closer to that. I have to get a test panel. Uh, but next week's going to be a, ta uh, a, a battle between the cleaners. So... Stay tuned for that next week. It's going to be a good one. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week.